Hello, everybody. We're here. I'm so glad we finally got this figured out. I don't know how long this is going to work, but I'm hoping it works. So, um, I, just uh, an update. I wanted you to know that our new book is out. It's Halloween by my daughter, Nicole Eckenby. Um, there is my drawings inside. And I've learned so much in doing these illustrations. So I'm hoping that you enjoy this book. We are working on some others that I'm, uh, as I get more familiar with these things, my drawings in the first book weren't so great. But uh, it's all a learning experience for me. But they're cute little stories nonetheless. And uh, it's it's a great little present for, for your children for Halloween. I'm uh, not for Halloween, for the holidays. So I'm hoping you check this out. Um, these are on Amazon. The book Summer Vacation and it's Halloween. So hopefully you'll check those out and um, we can get started today on our painting. Um, the, we're going to do this little cute little Christmas gnome in a globe. And um, we are going to start out with some of this uh, cerulean blue to um, make our little gnome and uh, we'll get started here. Um, hopefully my hand will hold up. I, it took me so long to get this working and I'm just hoping that it, it all turns out right, you know, because boy, it was a real stress. I had to call my friend Anthony from Grayscale Painting who helped me to figure out how to do this uh, or I'd still be stressing out. Uh, and it's, unfortunately, it's an hour later, but at least we got on anyways. We got it on. So, um, I'm going to start with this bright. It's a number 12. And, uh, of course, my cerulean blue. And um, the other thing I want to do is um, mark this off so that we can, when we paint here, this is going to be like the table. I'm hoping that's straight for you guys to see. We'll be doing some holiday paintings as we go on. Um, I'm looking to do more. Um, and next week also, I will be here on Friday if I'm not working. I don't think I will be. Uh, I'm only allowed to work like eight hours a week. And um, at least for a month because of my issue here with my uh, hand. I'm going to add a little white to this. Uh, I think that that will make it a little bit brighter or lighter. I don't want it so dark here. If I can open my container of paint. Sometimes these things get a little stuck. So I'm going to add a little white and this is just a paint uh, from uh, Hobby Lobby. It is titanium white. It's a liquid acrylic. It's kind of nice if you do um, to use that with uh, journaling and things like that. So I'm just mixing up this to make it lighter. around here just trying to keep the circle Now, um, what I'm planning to do is on my Patreon. Now, you can always get these uh, traceables on Patreon uh, for a dollar. But um, if you join, uh, you know, with the $5 a month, I plan on uh, making some um, prints uh, for you guys. If you're a $5 member... Um, 
and if you, uh, I, I have to get these things started. I'm working on things right now. But uh, if you help to support me, I will be happy to give you uh, something in return. So if now, if you are a five dollar supporter, and right now, um, you you still get the sketches. Uh, and what we'll do is like send you a um, four by seven or five by seven uh, print of something that I do during the month, uh, whatever uh, painting that I I do. If you are a, I think I I think my next one is um, twenty five dollar supporter you will get an 8x10 uh, print. And there might be other things involved in that also, but I'm working on that. I'm not sure exactly what I can do. Like, um, I might make some stickers or something from the books that I uh, have illustrated. Uh, I might even make stickers from these things that I paint. So, you know, I'm still deciding on how I want to do this and um, but I think it'll be fun it'll give you some incentive to help me out a little bit because that's what I'm needing some help on these things uh, so far I've managed but with my hand issue I'm not exactly sure how much longer I'm going to be able to work and um, because my other hand is doing the same thing and luckily I don't use that that much, so hopefully it'll hold up a little longer. Now I did the sides here, um, so got those in. I'm going to rinse out my brush, and I am going to find, well, I think we're going to do this um, tabletop in a nice color, beige. And before I do the table uh, top. I have to get some beige or brown paint, which I didn't do because I thought of this afterwards. So give me a second, oopsie, to go behind my wall to find some nice brown paint. Okay, let's see here if I have any handy. Usually I can never find anything I need my stash here. Oh, I don't want that one. Now you can always make a, a brown with some red and green. But I don't know. Let's see if I got some done in here. My little Sally's right there by the I got some glossy on it. That'll do. I want something not too dark. <clears throat> like a nice light green. And if you remember, I, I'll show you this. I did eventually finish this. And um, I found my... Uh, this was our last painting of the witch's hand and the apple. And I used a pasta pen to outline it. So um, that makes it just a little neater and easier to do because if you if you try to outline sometimes with a brush, if you're like me, especially with my hand right now, it's a little shaky. So um, I just did it with a Posca pen. And I'm just waiting for this to dry a little bit. And we're going to put out this. I can open it. Mm. Raw Sienna. And this is like a uh, Master's Touch, and it is a thick body acrylic. I like their thick bodies because they're a little bit more opaque. Uh, so if you decide to get anything like this, um, this is what you would probably want to buy, is a thick body. And Hobby Lobby has a ton of stuff, so I'm going to add a little bit of the unbleached titanium to this. Uh, I want it light, a little lighter, 
this table. And I think that this would be a great mix for this. So let's see here. Wash my brush, get some towels. Add that to the unbleached titanium. And that's going to be our green. Now, I'm just going to wipe off my brush and go into that sienna. And we'll start down here painting. And I'm going to put that piece of tape on top of this. Just make sure it's nicely sealed. Probably won't stick very well because that paint is still a little wet. But um, we'll get it as close as possible. Don't forget your sides. Now, if you feel that you want to use a smaller brush, you can. I'm just using the larger one just to cover a little bit more ground here. But as I get closer to some of these areas, I am going to use a smaller brush. a smaller brush now. Something that will get in there a little easier in these little spots. So this uh, brush is a number four. It's uh, the, called the Tuscan Series by Utrecht. Uh, I've had these for a while. They're starting to wear out, but they do a nice job of getting in, in the areas that need a little bit more detail here. Try to smooth that out as the best that we can. We'll probably put another coat of that on um, just to be safe. Get a little closer here, some of this area. As you can see, needs a little bit more.
Got to be careful that the paint doesn't uh, pull away when you're doing this. Oh boy. Yeah, so this was quite a stretch trying to get this to work. <laughs> and I'm so glad I'm up. I'm on here now. Okay. So we're going to let that dry a little bit and then we'll put another coat on. I'm going to go inside here now uh, with the cobalt blue. I'm going to make it just a tad darker only because we're in a snow globe and it this way it just is a little bit darker from the background. And I'm just gonna leave a little way a little bit of um, a piece just not painted uh, for my highlight. up some white there just leave that edge without any paint paint around the little gnome character That room is going to give us some uh, idea that this has that globe effect, that it's not going to be flat. Just take your time with this. <clears throat> And try to paint this in a circular motion, like have your brush going around, round way. Just want this to be a shade darker than the background. Just take your time. Get my other brush so I can get into those little crevices. Take your time around these little areas. Even if you get these little marks, we can always blend them out with a called bunny brush. Always blend them out with that. Or even one of these brushes here, like a mop brush. Just blend it out a little bit and it'll be fine.
taking my time in these little areas here. like this little section right in here is blue don't want to get too much of it on his little beard and things all right so let's see here if we can just kind of lightly You know, I'll probably have to use a little bit more paint because of the way it's streaking. I'm surprised because that's Galleria paint and it doesn't usually do that. So, we'll go back and start again with that. Add a little white in there just to kind of give it some um, opacity. Yeah, just needed another go over, I guess. Sometimes the paint will do that, that you need to do it a couple of times just to make it look nice. We're going to do that with the table, too. What time is it anyways? Because I was supposed to start this at 11. Uh, 12, 12.30. Sorry, I didn't quite catch Oops. that. Could you please repeat it? <laughs> Siri, uh, never mind. Okay. <laughs> Thought I wanted to ask a question. How about that? Okay, so I think that'll help a little bit more. Kind of get some of that out of there. And then, um, we'll be adding snowflakes in here too, so. All good stuff. All right. So we got our snow globe done. Okay, we're going to go back and do some of that, uh, Raw sienna again. I think I need a new paper towel. I think I'm going to put some more of that out on my palette. Okay, get some of that in my brush now. Let me just go. Now I'm going straight across with this uh, because of the grain of the table. And this is how the grain will be. So we just want to make sure we get that grain in there very nice. Like We get that 
a little bit of light grain. It's not going to be a dark grain table. It's going to be a lighter grain. Okay. All right. And for that grain, I'm going to get my, my, um, this is a soft grip royal, um, brush. It is one of those rake brushes. So we are going to load our rake brush. Probably put a little water in this so it's a little less. Dry, because it's drying fast, this paint. And I'm not sure why, because, I mean, it's not that hot in my studio. Now, I always like to um, push my brush down a little bit, just kind of like separating some of those, um, those hairs, if you can see that, maybe not. See how I separated them? Okay, so we're just going to stroke very lightly onto this table, just to get those. And we can add some... Um, brown later, darker brown if we want to. And we can also add some more of the uh, Rossi, uh, raw sienna in here. But we just want to get this like as if it had some grain. A nice grainy look. And I'm just going lightly with this brush. I'm not going heavy. Okay. Now I'm going to dip into that raw sienna a little bit. Kind of just hitting some of these other areas here so that We're going to darken up some of this too right underneath this glow because there's shadow. So you have to get those shadows in. Oh, it looks a little bit more natural. Yeah, that looks nice. Okay. All right, so uh, we're going to get the globe. Uh, I want to get that going a little bit. Um, so we're going to make the globe kind of like a yellow ochre. So I have, oh, that's raw sienna. Hmm. Okay, so I have uh, hold on a minute. Hold on a minute. Hello? Okay, I'm on my way. Okay, great. We'll see you in a little bit. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. All right. Mm -hmm. Bye bye. Bye. Okay, I have a few Okay, um, I'm going to have to stop here because of my lateness in the uh, actual getting this out. Um, I do appreciate anybody that will stop by and just look at this for now. It's part one. I will finish it and it will be the part two and it won't be a live part two. It'll just be part two. So um, if you don't mind, I'm sorry that this has to happen, but I don't have much of a choice uh, right now, so um, we'll be talking to you soon. Hopefully, to finish this on Monday because I have to work uh, tomorrow and Sunday. They schedule me two days in a row, and then uh, we'll get this up and hopefully, it'll be live soon or 
you know, part of that. I didn't see anybody stop in today, unfortunately, because I guess I have this whole thing all mixed up. But uh, hopefully, you know, more people will follow and we will see you next time. So until next time, have a good one. Bye-bye.